My name is Vincent Tenille, an artist from Belgium with a passion for alt history. For the past few years, I have been engaged in a world-building project inspired by a universe called Kaiserreich. This is an alt history world based on a simple premise. What if Germany had won the First World War? For this universe, I came up with a way to create original content available for free. This world building is funded through the sale of original merchandise and Patreon. This video is for all our fans interested in learning more about our merchandise and projects. However, it's also a video for other aspiring world builders to learn how I approach things. Let's take a look at the alt history of Kaiser Cat Cinema. The idea for Kaiserkat Cinema was born at PDXCon 2017, a convention dedicated to alt history games. Back then, we were part of a popular mod for Hearts of Iron 4 called Kaiserreich. For the longest time, this mod had used a main menu startup screen featuring three edited propaganda posters. For the occasion, I decided to fully repaint these three posters, which were handed out for free at the convention. The PDXCon posters, as they became known, became an unexpected cult hit. After the convention, many community members asked for the option to buy their own posters. With the blessing of the team, Kaiser Cat Cinema was then branched off from the mod to focus on merchandise and fundraising. The premise is quite simple. KCC is, in many ways, a channel dedicated to alt history world building. All our video content on YouTube is connected to merchandise exploring various aspects of the world. Back then, the question was what to call this new separate team. Originally, the channel was called the Kaiserreich Developers Channel. With us going independent, the name Kaiserreich Fan Channel was suggested. However, when looking for a logo, I remembered the old Ed Joker posters that defined much of the mod's early aesthetic. Inspired by the syndicalist Black Cat emblem, our name would finally become Kaiser Cat Cinema, taking the Black Sabo Cat as our logo. In many ways, Kaiser Cat Cinema is a crowdfunding and world building platform that can be best illustrated as a tank pushing up a hill. The engine of this tank consists of three interlocking parts. First and foremost is the creation of original content, characters, and storylines. Secondly, this content is linked to merchandise, which allows us to continue raising funds to create more high-quality productions. Finally, there is Patreon, where monthly backers can get immortalized as characters of the universe being built. This is most visible in our Patreon Cameo program, where patrons can make cameo appearances in our art and animations. Each part of this engine is carefully connected, allowing us to slowly but surely advance towards our goals. This is how a channel with less than 75,000 subscribers could go from small documentary videos to creating original shows, comic books, and even a live action short film. Ultimately, my goal is not to run a profit, but to create freely available content that everyone can enjoy. In that doctrine, even our finances are publicly available released as State of the Cinema keynotes and livestreams each year. While we have certainly had difficult years, in 2022, things are looking up for Kaiser Cat Cinema. Our webshop shipped its 10,000th order this year, and our channel is on the cusp of reaching the 100,000 subscriber milestone. Additionally, 170 plus patrons have donated a monthly average of $1,800 per month to our production budget, and that number has been slowly going up over the years. This surge of crowdfunding is very much needed to keep up our highly produced, originally written art and animation series. Each of these feature tons of original art pieces and animations by myself and other international artists. Every video stars professional actors and videographers from all around the world, giving us their best performance to breathe life into our video. We are first and foremost a cinema, after all. Nowhere is our doctrine as clear and apparent as in our mainline video series. Our World of Kaiserreich documentary series are an example of this self-sustaining approach. These video scripts and art serve as promotional pieces for the Kaiserreich universe. However, they also build a library of content that will be used to create a World of Kaiserreich art book later on. This way we can accumulate content for the book over time, 
and then go to Kickstarter for the final stretch. Things get even more exciting when we look at The Divided States. This original alt history series is designed to be released both as a voice animatic and as a freely available webcomic. The show explores an alt history second American Civil War from the viewpoint of various factions and features its own unique timeline. Much of this show is inspired by characters we introduced in earlier videos, the very same characters that can now be seen across our posters and other merchandise. So that explains why everything is made, which brings us to how it's made. Obviously, I can't print and ship merchandise from my small studio here. To accomplish that, I had to take a little trip to the northern frontier of Europe, the Baltic states of Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. Today, we are at a Printful printing facility in Riga, capital city of Latvia. Printful is Kaiserkat Cinema's main fulfillment partner. Fulfillment companies such as these create merchandise for online webshops. Not just for Kaiserkat Cinema, but for hundreds and even thousands of other webshops at the same time. This is just one of many such facilities spread across Europe, North America, and as far as Australia. Perhaps you are on the fence about buying some of my original art prints and merchandise. Or perhaps you would like to learn more about the process. In both cases, I came to Riga today to learn more about how it's made. Because we are on Alt History Channel first, propaganda posters were a natural extension of the time period we cover. The story of our merchandise began with the PDXCon posters, but my inventory now covers over 20 original designs painted by myself and various guest artists. I also offer a large selection of Alt History maps commissioned from various cartographers in our community. These designs started with the earliest Kaiserreich Universe cartography in 2016 and have been progressively updated ever since. Thanks to Print On Demand Fulfillment, these posters are available in an incredible amount of options and sizes, both framed and unframed. Here you can see me work on an order from the webshop. The posters are printed on classical matte paper using large printers, then cut down to size. Finally, they are wrapped up in chalk paper to keep them dry and shipped off to their future owners. A second very popular product are our Alt History flags, available both as one-sided wall flags and double-sided outdoor flags. All our flags are printed on white sheets of polyester through a technique called sublimation dye printing. In this technique, the flag is first printed onto a big roll of transfer paper, as you can see here. At this stage in production, the flag looks like a very dull and colorless mirror image of its final self. This is because all the ink is now sucked into the transfer paper and is yet to be heat pressed. That transfer paper is then cut and processed through a heat press machine which transfers the ink onto the final flag fabric. Here you can see the final flag emerge from the heat transfer machine. This white sheet is then laid on a cutting table where it is cut by blindingly fast machine cutters. Then the flag is tagged in and prepared for the final step, sewing. The sewing team takes the single sheet of fabric and sews the sides of the flag. The hoist and edges are folded over, creating what is known as a double fold hem that will ensure the flag can stand up to being handled and waved around. Without these strengthened edges, the flags would quickly unravel as the edges of the polyester wires would be exposed. Finally, grommets are added to the flag by violently punching them through the fabric using this epic jackhammer. Better not put your fingers in there. 
The final flag is folded, packaged and prepared to be shipped to its lucky new owner. Possibly you. Shirts and hoodies are printed in a very similar way to posters. However, instead of a traditional paper printer, the team at Printful uses a very modern machine known as a DTG or Direct to Garment Printer. This is a very big and impressive piece of equipment, but works much the same way as your printer does at home. Instead of paper going in, you can see me stretch the printing area of a piece of clothing on a plate. This frame is then pulled inside of the machine and printed on. The resulting print is still very wet and has to be cured in another dry baking machine. The combination of chemicals you use here creates a strong vinegary smell when the fabric is first unpacked. This smell is completely harmless though and dissipates after hanging the shirt to air for a day. After some time in the dryer, the shirt emerges ready to be folded and packaged. For added protection, the shirts are sealed in plastic and then placed in a shippable container. Most customers will also receive some free stickers with their order as stickers come free when you have a certain card value. These stickers are once again printed on a big paper printer. Only this time they are printed on a double layered sticker paper that is easy to use and attach. This sheet is then cut and laid out on a cutting table where a machine plots out the stickers edges. Finally, they are again carefully bundled and wrapped in with all your other items. Stickers, shirts, propaganda posters and apparel. These are the pillars of Kaiser Cat Cinema's merchandise and form a comprehensive and fun way to engage with the timelines and universe in our videos. In the future, we also hope to add fake movie posters, commercials and other memorabilia from the 1940s altered in unique and fresh ways. After my visit to Riga, I spent the next few days traveling around the Baltic states exploring the wonderful countryside in Eastern Europe. It was a great time to reflect on the past, present and future of Kaiser Cat Cinema. I'm considering many plans for the far future of KCC. Due to my attachment to gaming culture, I would love to explore the idea of developing original board games, books, miniatures and much more. KCC could be not just a Kaiser Act channel, but a house of alt history, exploring the unique creativity of this branch of world building. What the future brings, nobody can tell but I am glad to have you all along for the ride. For now, I am Vincent Tanil, signing off, proud of the work we did. Thanks for all the support, and I will see you for the next one, guys.